The search widget is one of the most important widgets to configure. Searching helps users personalize their experience and find exactly what they're looking for quickly. The World Geocoder is available by default and allows the user to already search locations and addresses from around the world. I highly recommend configuring some data-specific search capabilities. For me, I'm going to use my Wildfires point layer to allow users to search by wildfire name. To do this, I'm going to hover over Add Search Source, and then I'm going to add my Wildfires feature. Once added, I'm going to change the name of this search to wildfire name, and then I'm going to click on the pencil to the right of the search fields and choose the fire name attribute. I'm going to leave the display set to fire name, which means that the suggestions and search results will display by fire name. But one thing to know is that I could choose to search by multiple attribute, attribute fields in a single search setting, but that to do that, the display field will always just be fire name. If you wanted to have multiple search displays, you would need to create multiple searches, which can be done on the same layer. When it comes to maximum suggestions, I typically like to set this to 10, but it's really personal and it's not a big deal. The maximum results, however, can be trickier. For instance, if you're configuring an address point layer that has many apartment units associated with a single address, then paying attention to the maximum results is important because it could mean that some units don't appear in the results. Unless the user types in the exact same format that's found in your data set, which is not often realistic. So for fire names, I'll leave this set at six. For address point layers, I, set, I typically set the zoom at one to 2000 scale, but for this wildfire data, I need to choose something that will help the map zoom to the location, but not cause the user to lose a sense of where the point is actually located. I'm gonna start with 500,000 and see how that goes. The placeholder text for searching should always give the user a hint to what they can search for. So I will type in location or fire name. If you have pop-ups configured, go ahead and leave on the option to show pop-ups. And as you can see, the search bar now shows the user that they can search by location or fire name. When I start to search for a specific wildfire event, it shows me suggestions. And when I choose my wildfire of interest, the map zooms in and the pop-up box immediately shows me some of the details surrounding that fire event. For wildfires, I would repeat this process to also configure a search for fire ID. We hope you found this video helpful. Please like us below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.